Hi everyone. You know, if you're like me, when your professor comes to you and says, you know, I need you to cite all your work, and I need you to use in-text citations plus a references page or a bibliography page, uh, if you're like me, you're probably like dreading that whole process. Well, I want to show you how to create those citations using Microsoft Word. So I have Word running uh, down here in my taskbar, and I'm just going to open Word up. And you can see I have some text on here already, and I'm just going to close that because I don't need that anymore. We don't save it. And to do this in Word, I found that, first of all, I keep my citation information on the Windows Notepad. One thing about the citation manager within Word is that once you have the dialog box open and start entering information you can't do anything else within Word so on the Windows notepad and I also have this running down here I open this up and I have the information that I'm gonna need to create the citation and I record this information while I'm looking at it whether it's a book or a database or YouTube or whatever my source is I'll collect that information place it in Word or place it in the notepad um, for my reference and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to size this I'm going to use this um, citation here that says how to go to Harvard for free and I'm using this one because it has an author it has a title um, it has a web link and, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to just slide this off to the side for now and come back into Word and I'm going to create a new document. So you can say File, New, and just create a blank document. Once you have a blank document made, to do these citations you want to click on the references tab and when you do so there's a group right here called citations and bibliography and you'll see a style drop down this when I drop this down you'll see there's a whole list of different styles of citation that you can use now we're in a scientific technology engineering type of course and usually the standard citation format is APA so we're going to choose APA for that source the next thing we're going to do then is we got to enter that source information to do that we click on manage sources and we get this dialog box up and I'm going to slide this over here because I eventually I want to bring that notepad document in again now you'll see in my screen I have a list of sources that I've already added in the past. What's nice about the, cit the citation manager in Word is that when you enter it in one document it follows over to other documents. You'll also see a preview plane, pane down here which shows you what the, the selected citation looks like in this APA format but we want to create a new citation so we're going to click on the new button and we will get a create citation source which again I'm going to slide up out of the way and I'm going to show all bibliography fields by putting that check in there so that I get all the fields up the first thing you want to do is you want to enter the type of source data that you have and if you drop this down you'll see that there are a listing of you know what type of information am I using for my source well the one I'm doing happens to be a website so I'm going to come down and I'm going to select website now I'm going to open up my notepad again so that I can get to my information and it's asking me for the first thing these stars mean that these are required fields actually they're recommended fields so it's asking me for an author now if I click on this my notepad is going to go away again so 
you can either resize your windows to keep everything up together or you can just keep clicking back on it back and forth on it so my author here is Farhad Manyo I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna copy it just by pressing control C I'm gonna come back up here and I'm going to do edit by the author and just for now I'm going to paste this into here so I'm going to use control V and his last name is Manyo so I'm going to just select his first name and I'm going to copy it and paste it into first name then I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to delete that and then say add and it automatically puts his last name comma first name and since that's the only author I have, if I had another author, author, I could just start adding more authors in here, last name, first name, middle, and say add, and this list will build. But I only have one author, so I'm going to say OK, and that puts the author in. Let me come back to my notepad here, and it says, I need the name of the web page and the name of the website. Now, the name of the web page is how to go to Harvard for free. So I'm going to select that, copy that, and paste that in to the name of the new web page. I'm going to open my notepad, and this is the Joys of Academic Earth online videos. This happens to be the name of the website, so I'm going to copy that, paste that in there. Now this is asking me for the year, month, and date of the creation of this source. When I come in here, it's from February the 23rd, 2009. So I'll come back in here and I'll type 2009, February. You want to spell everything out. And I believe it was the 3rd, or the 23rd. Okay, so I'll do the 23rd and then we'll scroll down on this list and it's asking me for the year access this is something you should also keep track of when you're doing the site I always make a note saying retrieved and you can see I retrieved this on September the 30th 2015 so I'll come into here and I'll put 2015 September 30th and then the URL which is the web site address I have this here I will select this and I'll copy it and I'll come back in here and paste it in and as you scroll down this list you will see there's really nothing else required here so I have the information that I need for this particular citation already shown in here and I'll click OK and in the current list, I now see that this new citation is listed. And look, it shows me the format of that citation. And it also shows me the in-text reference and how to use that. So I'm going to now say, OK, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to start entering some text. So I'm just going to say, now is the time for all good men and so on and so forth and I want to cite this with that citation all I need to do is on the citation and bibliography group I'll say insert citation click this click the citation that I want and it inserts the in-text citation for me then I want to reference this page. Now this would normally go on a separate page. I'll type the word references because in APA style they don't use a bibliography. They use references. And I'll press the enter key. And now I want to insert a bibliography here. So we'll do bibliography. And I'll come all the way down to the bottom here and I'll say I want to insert a bibliography. And when I do so it creates the citation for me in the proper context or in, in structure. I will then center this reference and again this would be on a separate page and I've just now
created my citations, didn't have to struggle with it, and uh, kept everything in track. So I, I hope this helped you. Um, I know it certainly made my life easier for me. So um, good luck.